This is the first video in a series where we'll be taking you through how to create objects like this using the T-spline tools that you can find in the create form option. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to be talking to you about canvases, sketches and basic extrusion. So first thing you need to understand is that to create these type of forms often you'll want to sketch out your design on the different planes, so from the front, the top and the left or the right. And once you've done that you can then scan them, photograph them and so on in whatever system you want to use. Take them into your preferred system like or software like Photoshop, uh, get them cleaned up like, by removing any background colours or images you don't want, getting them sized to the correct size that you want to use. So let's create a new file and in here we want to add those images in. So you just go to insert and we call them canvases. So you choose canvas and you find where you want to get your image from. Now obviously you can take it from inside Fusion itself but most of the time you'll find that it'll be on your computer somewhere. So you can see this is inside a folder I've already set up and there's one which is the right hand side and one which is the front of this particular object, this sketch that I've got and be working on right now. So I open that up and then I choose which of the planes I want to put it on. So there you can see it's going to be on that plane. Now I'm not particularly worried at the moment about the size because this is just a demo but if you wanted it to be a specific size make it the correct size for the, di the document that you want to use and then you can always adjust that as you're working so you can change the size here change the scale flip and so on but you can experiment with that on your own for now we're just going to put this onto this plane here and we've got that image as we can see now from the front if we zoom in I can make it more transparent or opaque as I need to but you can see now what I can do is use this as a basic shape for the little car design, little shell that we're going to be working on. We can also insert another one. Same process, this time we're going for the right hand side so we're going to choose the plane which is here. Now if we want to move it forwards and backwards away from the origin point we can do but I'm just going to leave it there for now. So you can see over here we've got the two canvases we can turn them on and off as we need to turn them all off if we need to. So there are your canvases. So the first thing we're going to do is to go into edit form. So we've got the shape we want. Go into edit form and you'll see you get all these different options. What you're doing here is using T-splines. They are just simple arc-like shapes that you'll then be transforming and editing into simple flat surfaces and then later on you can thicken those out when you go back into the Fusion document that we were using. So in here you're in the edit or the form part of the program and it'll give you a warning if you log in to a or if you open up a file and you go straight into there, there'll be a little box down the bottom. But effectively what we're doing here is one step on this whole process down there. So you're not going to get a timeline showing you all the different actions you've done like you would in the other part of the program. You have to just use the um, Control Z option to undo. So sometimes you have to go back through a lot of steps or you just delete things and draw them out again. One of the nice things about this particular part of the program is that you can do that. You can just delete stuff and draw it again. It's not actually that difficult. So we're going to start off by showing you how to create a sketch based on here. So we're going to get rid of this part here. We're going to create a sketch for this rough shape. So create a sketch on that plane. Zoom in. And we're going to take our spline and choose the one that works best for you. So let's just choose this one. Go from this point here, this point here, and let's just say done. Now it might be a straight line for now, but what I can do is to finish that sketch. Click on here, sorry, go back in. Now what I do, if I click on this point here, I can actually change the angle of my spline so that it matches what I want. Now I can zoom in, take my time, be more delicate. 
and it depends on how accurate you have to be with your particular drawing. Now I'm only going up to here for now, and we'll show you why later, but I'm just drawing this particular shape there. So you can say finish that sketch, go back to here, and you can see now what I've got is this line running across there. Now we're going to create another sketch to put onto the top plane. Let's go around here. And as you can see I've zoomed quite far in. There we go. So, oh, one sec, cancel that. So, deselect, start sketch, choose the plane, zoom in. Now, this is where it would have helped me if I had a plan view, which I don't, because I'm just roughing this out as I go, making it up to go along. So, what I'm going to do is work out that that line there, and roughly speaking, about that line there, will do. So I take my spline, mark it out from there, mark it out there, go fine, zoom in, drag this out, Ooh, stops drawing splines, sleep, and bend this to the shape I want. Let's say that's done. Okay, finish sketch. Back to here. So now I've got these two rough shapes. They may not be anywhere near each other. Oops, it's a bit too far off. So if I zoom in, go to the move tool, like this, drag it across, lines up. Okay, done. And you can see it's too high. So if I click on here, move tool, drag the whole thing down to where I want it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so finish sketch. Now, obviously, what we can do from this point is say, right, we can then extrude this section out here, and the way we do that is to, oh, one sec, let's go back into here. One thing shouldn't have finished form. I'm in here. So we then go to the extrude tool, click on the part we wish to extrude, drag it out. Now when we're doing this, you'll see that we've got the options of spacing. So we can either have it as a curvature, where it will take the number of faces we've chosen, which is eight at the moment, and it will make it match a curvature here. So you see you've got a long space here, the long space, and they get shorter. Or you can choose to have them uniform, which I find more useful. So I'm going to have that uniform there, and I've dragged it out to one millimetre. So I'm just going to use this as the sort of top section, and we're going to connect that to this bottom section down here. So we go, OK. We then select this one, and we say extrude, and it should remember most of the options we've already chosen. We drag this out by one mil, and yeah, we have two extruded sections. Now, of course, we can do it with circles. So, if we want to make this wheel arch here, we could, of course, turn to the right. Let's hide this part here. So, no nope, bodies, body two. We want to make a wheel arch for this section. So, we're going to zoom in. We're going to create a sketch. We're going to do it on this plane here. We're then going to go in. Now we don't want to draw the whole wheel. We could of course go into the original fusion drawing, draw out some wheels and then place those onto the objects which we might show you in the next video. But for now we just want to make a wheel arch around here. So what we can do is to create arc and center point arc line up our centre point. If we had an object there to centre it on, we'd do that. But for now, let's just say it's two millimetres. Click to start, and you bring it all the way around to end. So if we want it to go up at an angle like this, we can end it slightly higher than the back. If we want it to fit exactly, then we can type in 180 degrees. It gives us a perfect 180 degree arc. So we do that, and it's all set. And now what we could do is finish sketch and we can extrude this. Now obviously at the moment the problem we've got is that it's sat on the same plane as here so we actually want it to be moved. So we go to move, click on that, drag it out to where we want. This is where we might turn that body back on, look at it from the top, drag it to, let's zoom in,
There we go. Let's say OK. Back to here. Turn that body off. Extrude this. And now when we pull it out, it will create the arch that we can then connect to there. Now obviously when we're connecting this to this section, what we want to think about is, do we need eight parts here to connect to these eight parts? Well, if you wanted it to act as a sort of merging surface between all of these to there, so if you wanted it to taper down from there to there, then yeah, sure. Except we don't. We're going to draw out another arc here in a sec that we want it to connect to. So we might have an arc here in a moment where we want it to be one, two, three, four. In fact, let's do that. Let's just say OK. Go back. Turn this one on. And we want to get rid of this face, this face, and this face. So we click on that face, hold down Shift, select the other faces. Let's just delete these from that body. So we've got one, two, three, four that line up with one, two, three, four. And now we want to make four of these that line up with the other four. So we get this sort of rounded shape here and this tapering conical-ish like shape there. So go back to here and we're going to extrude this out. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't behave. So we just need to zoom in a bit. Extrude. And we only want it to come out, say, half a millimeter. I don't even want it to be that. Only because I'm working on a tiny, tiny object at the moment. You probably work on yours on a much larger scale. But for now, we're just messing around with a demo. So now if I want it to come out perfectly parallel to the plane on the bottom, I can leave it as is, but I can also taper it. If I want it to go down at a slight angle, I can say, yep, let's have it at 45 degrees. Nope, minus 45 degrees, that should be there. So it'll go down, as you can see from here. It now tapers down at this angle, or we can just leave it for now, go back to zero, and it sticks out. So we're going to leave that there, except we need to change this to four. So this goes one, two, three, four, and then we can connect them up in a later video. But for now, that's the basics of getting canvases into your file, going into the edit form option, drawing out some simple sketches and extruding those sketches to create some surfaces that we can then in later videos start to connect together.